Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, I have the full quest guide for Questioning, Melisign and Answering Machine, Act 1, 2 and 3. So this quest will automatically activate when you go to the Reputation area in Fontaine if you have completed the Archon quest from the last update. So once you have, you can go and investigate all of these parts. Now we have to associate the right item, so it's going to be curve and then you're going to pick the messy footprint map thing. So once you've done that, we will go to the next location, so just teleport. Fight the treasure hoarders and then once we have, we are going to go around and find the clues. We can just go down and follow the puppy as it walks to the last clue. So from here, there's a strange box, but then we can just hit it to break it. And then from here, we need to give the puppy a clue, which is going to be the dirty wine bottle. And then we have to give another clue, which is the simple button. And from here, we just have to follow the puppy. After some dialogue, we are going to go to the house ahead. We're going to find Kevin, so just attack the slimes. Now for this part, we just have to go underwater. So we are going to be searching for the blade. So what you want to do is get the ability of the crab and this is going to help you break the rock. So we're going to break it and then there's a shiny thing inside. So go and pick it up. Unfortunately, it is not the blade. It's just a knife. 
So now we are going to go back to shore. And after some dialogue, the first part of the quest will end right here and it's going to automatically start the next one, the red and black. So I'm just going to change the time. And we are going to teleport to the Statue of the Seven in Fontaine City. Alright, so for this part you're supposed to not get caught and you need to get to those sparkly parts. Honestly, like, you can just run straight past them and then wait till the red marker goes away and then just go up towards that sparkly thing and just investigate it. And then after this you just got a couple of other things to investigate around the area. After this, you are going to fight the treasure hoarders. And then from here we just have to answer the question, so in order of whoever turned up to the scene first.
and after that the quest will finish now in order to start the next quest you have to wait one day in real time so the next day you will automatically get the next quest So we just have to go to the marked point where we will meet the puppy once again. So now we just have to pick the items for it to sniff out. So we're just going to pick the threatening letter. And the dog will find a chest for you. So we can pick up that chest and then let's go to the next location. So at this next location, we just have to defeat the enemies first. And once you have defeated them, you will get a chest here as well. Next, we are just going to teleport to the waypoint and then fight the enemies. And then now we just have to show an item. So we want to show the pocket watch. Okay, so for this part, we want to teleport to the statue of the seven and we are going to go underwater to find the base. Once you approach the gate, we can just go and open it. Now we just have to go around and find the materials.
then fought the enemies. And then we can end up fighting the enemies with the cannon. After the dialogue, we are going to be going through a current. And this is pretty much the end of the quest. You will kind of just be teleported around a little bit. There's a little bit of dialogue, but that is pretty much the end. So thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.